My name is Kelly Henry and I work in recruiting at SIG. Our founders' love for the quantitative side of strategy games is still the foundation of our business, our culture, and our education today. We have board game nights, competitive chess teams, and puzzles placed all around the building. We have grandmasters, we have World Series bracelet holders, but we also have people who play games just for fun. I think one of the things that makes SIG really unique is that you can be a student and a teacher. There's always a game to learn, and there's always someone who wants to teach you. I'm Michael Hines, and I'm a quant here at SIG. I was a graduate student at UC Berkeley, and I got like this email uh, from one of the recruiters at SIG about a brain teaser battle. The brain teaser battle was really fun. I also like saw that this kind of puzzle culture was really integral in SIG uh, and something that they cared about a lot and was also really important to how they thought about problems, which I thought was really cool and made me want to pursue an internship at SIG. We added escape rooms to our interview process as a way for us to see how candidates solve quantitative problems while working together collaboratively. It's important for us to see how people work together collaboratively on these challenging problems because it emulates the trading environment. It's what they're going to do on a day-to-day -day basis if they do end up joining SIG, no matter what role they're in. It's something that we found also gives the candidates an opportunity to feel what it would be like to actually work here. And it goes like that. I think the escape interview is indicative of all the puzzles we have to solve here. Not only because you're working together as a team, not only because you're leveraging the quantitative skills you need to be successful, but also because the open-endedness of trading and the open-endedness of financial markets suits itself reasonably well to the microcosm of the open-endedness of an escape room. But being able to sift out what has value, what does not have value, I think applies not only to traders, it applies to technologists, it applies to quantitative researchers trying to solve novel problems, it applies to everyone here at SIG. Puzzles are obviously like a big part here at SIG. I first came to SIG as an intern and a lot of like the trader education, but that's super uh, game centered. Uh, there's a lot of things about like thinking about games and incomplete information that SIG believes is extremely correlated with how they think about the marketplace. What would I say to a student who knows that they love puzzles but doesn't know what they want to do for a career? I would tell them to push themselves to try this. The similarities that exist between games, puzzles, and the work that we do here is clear. We know that the people at SIG who love puzzles, who love gaming, love a fast-paced environment, thrive here. It's an environment that doesn't suit everyone, but if you love winning, if you love competing, if you love solving complex problems, I think we have great problems for you to solve here.